Hi guys, hope you're well. I just wanted to record a quick message because I've been in business on my own for a month now. Uh, it's been a hell of a four weeks and actually some of the things that I've really actually enjoyed most in many ways is when people have reached out to me and they've kind of picked my brains and they wanted to know how I was doing. A lot of people genuinely are just, um, you know, they're friends, they want to see me do well which is fantastic. But actually almost what I've been inspired by a lot is the amount of people that actually want to do their own thing. They have ambitions, it might be that they want to create something or do something or whatever. And in many ways, although it puts, I guess, additional kind of pressure on my head, is almost a lot of people are watching to see how I'm doing. So I wanted to give you a warts and all kind of brain dump of the last month. Um, and I'm just 100% honest and then, you know, take it, leave it, do whatever you will. But actually, you know, this is who I am, it's what I kind of wanted to do. Um, so the first one, it was to actually kind of make the jump to do it. This is something that I've always wanted to do. I always aimed to set up on my own when I was 50-ish, when I'd kind of paid off the mortgage. And it, because I say to a lot of people that actually, truth be told, if I had 10 million pounds in the bank, I would still do exactly what I'm doing now because I enjoy it. There's nothing I enjoy more than genuinely kind of working with people to help them both be add value, but actually help them achieve their kind of aims and ambitions. And it's, it's, it's a dream, I'm not going to call it a job, but it's like a dream to really help. And actually, it, it's fulfillment, it ticks every box I've ever kind of wanted to do. But off the same token, it's proper shit scary in many ways that to not have the regular paycheck is difficult. Um, it's, it's strange and I'm in a very fortunate position where I'm financially able to do this without any kind of major kind of risk. It's not as if my bills are due and I can't pay them in two, three five months time. And again, that I guess would be a learning in some ways that make sure you're in a position where you can afford to do it. Because truth be told, the pressure to deliver and bill an invoice and etc. if you only had a small kind of runway of cash left would be scary. So that's a genuine kind of tip. Um, be honest, be open with people. I'm always 100% honest that at the moment at least it is just me. Um, but actually off the back of that, I've pivoted the business correction I haven't pivoted the business but I've changed my own personal message and how I was talking about the company I think four times in four weeks because originally and in many ways people know me as me and they kind of know what I do and how it works but actually I then crafted what I was saying about sales strategy marketing and management which is quite broad I then started to phrase it as company turnarounds and growth strategy but then actually even then people will mentally put that in a box which is still probably the correct box I want them to put it, put it in, but it doesn't it doesn't resonate with the audience, so I changed it again. So essentially, it's all about hands-on support to help you grow your business. Ironically, I always roll up my sleeves. I have done for probably 10, 15 years. It's just a thing. But actually, as a business, it's also a metaphor that I quite physically get involved. I help you kind of achieve your aims and do things that, I guess, fall into that kind of doing kind of category. But actually, my point being, if you're ever going to set up on your own, don't be afraid to pivot and change and just keep evolving and kind of learning how the kind of marketplace works. I guess in the last few weeks, I, I already kind of had my first customer on board before I went public and they know who they are. And actually, you know, that was a really, I've, I've genuinely enjoyed what they're doing. But actually, I've been working with four or five different companies now. And actually, when you get a real grasp of people's passions, their imaginations, their aims, their goals, and it's a very emotional process to actually help someone and for them to allow you to help them with it. You know, it's their baby, it's their dreams. And it's it's flattering in many ways that actually I, I absolutely love it. But by the same token, it's the beauty to get to work with and help these people achieve their goals is superb. And actually that I wouldn't change. Um, big things, I would go and see a lot of people, get your message out there, go and shake a lot of hands and actually just tell people what you're doing. There's, there's a crux and there's always a balance between you never want to piss people off or get too in people's kind of faces because, you know, it's not very nice to kind of do. But likewise, you know, you still have bills to pay, you have a business. But for me, it's where if you have something genuine to offer, and I talk about in a different video, it's about the 3% rule, where if I approach 100 people, I genuinely expect 97 of them to say no and that's absolutely fine and in many ways for all 97 I still want to add value I still want to kind of let pick my brains share whatever I can obviously I wrote a book and I give it away for free but almost that's absolutely fine and it's just for me or for you I guess is to get your volume up and actually kind of just go and see a lot of people because 
there'll be a lot of people who are ready to buy and actually they will properly engage and love the process when you can help and for the other group you know they might not be there yet but it might be two three years down the line and it doesn't mean you don't have a fantastic offer but it's just timing it kind of right uh, so I've covered kind of setting up um, in terms of structure I am just a sole trader. I haven't registered for VAT yet. I'm not expecting to be that successful, uh, at least this year. It's, you know, if I ever get to 72,000, I'll take it, but you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, seeing a lot of people refine your offer. Website, I actually build mine myself. I am quite creative, uh, but I use something called Wix. Um, my actual brand and stuff I did myself. Um, my business cards, a lot of people uh, kind of comment on. It was Northern Print Solutions. Uh, did a fantastic job. I did the design, they printed it. I, I absolutely love them. Uh, what else have I done? Uh, a lot of web stuff. I do videos. Basically, I record all my own stuff. Again, keeps the cost down, keeps the kind of flexibility, but likewise, I'll do a separate video if anyone's interested on lighting setups and stuff, because that's I'm a nerd. That's what I love doing. Uh, I think that's about it. And uh, another one as well was through invoicing. I'm sorry if this video is dull. If it's dull, you've already switched off anyway. Um, Actually, I, I picked the brains of a friend and it was to do with, you know, I've done invoices as a company for other companies, but as me, I've never done it before. But actually, you know, when I sent my first invoice, it was 0001 and someone joked, if I ever get to 99,000 or whatever it is, you know, it's a good goal. But anyway, it's, it's, it's kind of the steps that you go through. But actually, truth be told, when you actually send that first invoice and it gets paid, it's a really nice kind of feeling. Uh, and I think that's about it. And one last thing as well, sorry if this is going on a while, is almost a lot of people I've spoke to who do set up on their own or have set up on their own, it's not as easy as people think, but actually there's a lot of really good stuff from it. But where I'm trying to kind of go with that is that there is a very good kind of network of people, and please, you can always reach out for me, who are in the same boat, who have peaks and troughs, and you do genuinely, even almost on a kind of daily basis, you'll have fantastic highs, then you'll have some lows, and it's just up and down. But actually, you're not on your own. You might physically be on your own some of the time if you work from home or coffee shops or whatever, but actually there are hundreds of thousands of people in the same boat as you are, and please kind of use them as a mentor or as a support to pick their brains. If you're struggling, please kind of reach out. And then likewise, if I can, I always you know, help other people, so they know who they are, but you know, if I can help you, I, I ha kind of happily will. And essentially, yeah, so in, in my first month, I've gone from nothing to, I've got a few regular customers, I've sent my invoices, things have been paid, things appear to be going, going really well. <clears throat> and actually, the more people I speak to, um, I, I love helping other people. And if I'm not the right fit, it's absolutely fine, but likewise, if I can, please kind of give me a shout. So that's probably about seven minutes that I've probably lost most of the people, but actually, if you're interested, if you're ever looking to do your own thing, hopefully it's you know useful. And uh, please kind of reach out, give me a shout. So you've got Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Um, I'm trying to do my best. I'll probably do one of these maybe just before Christmas. Um, if there's anything you want to know, any questions about setting up on your own, anything, business strategy, marketing, sales, anything, please kind of give me a shout. And I'll keep doing the book reviews. I'll keep doing, sharing all the useful information that I can on all the kind of channels. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you again to everyone for kind of helping me out. And I'm sure I will see you all soon.